Alright, hello again, it's Nate, and as promised in the last few videos, I'm gonna tell you guys how I'm planning to get regular audio cassettes to play back MP3 quality uh, tunes. And it fi I finally got it working. After weeks and weeks of uh, Python and Java coding, we got a demo working for you guys. Alright, so here it is, regular audio tape, uh, this is type 1. And then play. Now this is a relatively low end cassette deck, and yet the quality of these uh yet the audio quality. Let's stop it. We can open it up, flip it around, and play. And another advantage of this uh, project is that we have track information as you would any mp3 uh, music player. So, question is, how is this done more or less? Well, after uh, implementing some serious compression algorithms, uh, it turns out you could actually get about 20 uh, mp3s on the 120 minute tape. And um, I guess at this point, if you know anything about audio cassettes and uh, data in general, you realize that something is, doesn't make sense here. And you're correct. This works by not trying to put any um, audio data on the cassettes, but rather information to let an MP3 uh, player, which is running on this, uh, my brand new uh, Raspberry Pi re-terminal, to play a particular song at a particular stat time with all the controls being done by through the cassette. Now, how is data going from the cassette player on to, into this uh, Raspberry Pi? Audio. And um, so normally after the signal is, is decoded, you get audio out. However, let me pause this and turn the volume up on this. What does it sound like? A modem. So essentially, uh, you know, we're using, we're encoding the data on the cassette using uh, just, I think, or using audio. So it works the same way as the old style modems. And um, that's pretty much it. So overall, it's a very straightforward, basic technique. And I'm using technology from the 80s, you're know, putting data onto cassettes, uh, the original computers used it, and from the modern times, the uh, 2000, the Raspberry Pi. Now, all of this works. However, the, the goal of the project is actually to, to get everything running on this ESP32 Lyra T board and eventually get it, you know, scale is done even further. And um, if there's enough interest in this, maybe even get a Kickstarter campaign to integrate this type of technology into a uh, Walkman type. And this would sound just as well playing on this uh, Grace uh, tape to USB, which is by no means a very high quality player and uh, a better you know, player, this um, old pioneer from the uh, 1980s. And um, where did I get this idea from? Well, I got the idea from watching uh, videos from Techmoon and V Westlight. They do a lot of the you know historical uh, videos on the, the different uh, cassette tape like technologies. And one of the ones they did was DCC and um, uh, that. And so it got me thinking: How would uh, you? How, how could you get? Um, MP3 quality audio onto one of these cassettes. And as I mentioned, it's not possible if, if you want to just put MP3s on there. There simply isn't enough, enough space. You might get maybe half of an MP3 song on it, but that doesn't make sense. So, some more research and, uh, you know, ran, came across uh, different sites that talked about data on cassettes and just had to tie everything together. And um, again, the next phase is to you know, instead of running it on this uh, Raspberry Pi, you know, try to run it on a purpose-built, one of these purpose-built audio boards. 
and maybe even scale it down even further so that folks who never experience um, the interfacing with cassettes, like you have the physical cassette, you, you have the button suppressed to play audio, you know, they could do so and still get uh, the benefits of modern MP3 quality sound. So nice little fun project, um, investing way too much time into it right now. So I'm hoping that we, uh, you know, we finally get uh, this working and put it out there. And if, you know, other folks who are interested in doing similar things could, could do so. I mean, can I think of this as a you know, poor man's DCC player or what DCC should have been where you have a uh, cheap playback mechanism with high quality audio using uh, audio tapes to store data. All right, that's it. Take care, folks.